Welcome to the first edition of Topic Tuesdays. So Tuesdays are going to be me coming to you with a short video on a specific topic. A topic that you have uh, brought to my attention as something that you're interested in learning a little bit more about or a question that you may have. So today we're starting off and kicking it off with overwhelm. Overwhelm is uh, something that many of us, most of us, all of us feel at some point or another. Specifically, these last two days, it's something that I have been dealing with on a personal basis. I am feeling overwhelmed because I feel that I have too much to do and I feel that I have not, not enough time to do it. So of course there's going to be some feelings of stress, anxiety, discomfort, anger, reaction. And overwhelm is one of those things that is mainly happening in our head. So because of what we're thinking, we are feeling like there's too much on our plate and we have too much that we feel we can't handle. And this, again, goes to how we are relating to whatever it is that we feel we have going on. So when we think that there's so many things and we have to do them all and we feel that we can't get to them, then that's when the overwhelm comes in, usually followed with some type of physical um, feeling in our body, anxiety, um, an emotion, anger. We can, you know, feel it muscularly. We can uh, feel it uh, with our organs. Like sometimes um, it will affect the way we're digesting food or our hunger. It will, you know, it will affect many times um, our, our um, energy and the way we're sleeping. So it, it will affect everybody in a different way. So in my specific um, experience, I've been very reactive. I've been getting very angry um, and feeling like I'm kind of exploding for even the smallest little thing. And these last two days that I've noticed these reactions that I'm having, um, I, I, I really had not put the pieces together that it was because of the overwhelm because I was, you know, going kind of like on autopilot of doing everything that I have to do following the schedule. But I think sometimes we can get to a point where we are just feeling like, okay, I, I can't continue with this um, speed or I can't continue on, it's like a treadmill, you know, I'm, I'm running on a treadmill and it gets to a point where the speed that I'm going on um, or running at is just too much, too much and my body needs to rest. So that's kind of how I've been feeling with, with certain things that are going on in my life. Maybe I had been running at that pace, but all of a sudden, right now, it just feels like too much. So what do we do when we're feeling overwhelmed? The first thing is to pause. You know, we've talked about the pause before. Um, if you've been following me for some time, I, the pause is super important because it gives us that moment where we can take a deep breath in and just land in the space that we're at physically, emotionally, and mentally. Figuring out what is going on for me right now. How am I feeling on a physical level? How am I feeling on an emotional level? And what is going on in my mind with my thoughts? So what's going on on a mental level? I need to first understand and become aware of what is present for me at this moment. So accepting, like noticing what is happening right now. So then I can accept or or understand what is happening and why I am feeling the way that I am feeling. And then trying to understand, okay, is there something that I can do 
about it to change it? Is this something that I can accept and move on? Or is this something that I really, you know, can't do anything about? So it's kind of like making an assessment of what is going on and what can I do about it? And then taking action. Because if I just continue doing the same thing and expect a different result, we know that's not going to happen, right? <laughs> um, if I continue the same way and I'm just complaining, I'm just going to stick myself deeper into that hole of overwhelm because on top of the overwhelm, I'm putting in more negative feelings. So it's kind of understanding, okay, what is going on? What can I do about it? What am I willing to do about it? And then taking action. So in my case, I realized that of a lot of my overwhelm, I was feeling that I had too much on my plate and I wasn't being able to do things the way I want to do them, to be happy with the way things um, are going on or the way I am um, being able to execute things. So then I had to really pause and say, okay, what is it that I want? What is it that I really want? And of all the things that I am doing on a day-to-day -day basis, what is going to help me get to what I want? Mm -hmm. And then make a choice. Okay, because at the end of the day, we always have a choice. We can choose to stay feeling overwhelmed and upset and reactive, or we can choose to do something to change that. The choice is always ours. We need to take action in order to bring about some type of change. Sometimes that action is just changing the way I'm looking at things. Sometimes that action is changing my mindset. Sometimes that action is taking no action and just allowing myself to be, to feel, to breathe, to pause. And sometimes it will require some other type of physical action, something that you are doing to bring about change. So overwhelm. When you're feeling overwhelmed, pause to notice what is actually happening. Why are you overwhelmed? being completely honest with what you're feeling, what you're thinking, without jumping to conclusions. So just noticing first, and then trying to figure out if there's something you can do about it. And sometimes that something you can do about it is simply change your attitude or your mindset about things. And then taking some action. Okay, so overwhelm is a feeling we have, but staying in overwhelm and reactivity is a choice. So become aware, become aware. That's why mindfulness for me is such an important um, aspect in everyday life because it allows us to become aware. It gives us the tools and the know-how of how to become aware to notice what is going on because we can't change something that we don't even know is present. Like, you know, that saying, you don't know what you don't know. Well, you need to kind of figure it out first or become aware of it. Actually, you need to become aware of it in order to know and then do something about it. So the invitation, if you're feeling overwhelmed, is pause, give yourself a breather and notice. Ask yourself with curiosity, why am I feeling like this? And getting really honest with what you are feeling and why you're feeling like this. And then figuring out what type of action you can take. And remember that sometimes that action is simply no action, taking a break, giving yourself that space. Sometimes that action is a change of attitude or a change in our thought process. And sometimes that action will require some actual physical action of changing something. Hope this helps. Please let me know if there's a specific topic that you would like to um, touch upon, you would like me to talk about, or if you need any type of 
pointers or tips on any specific topic. Till next week. Bye.